How strong is this new Polymaker Fiber Online? Let's find out. Stick around and we'll break some stuff. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Scott, Edge of 3D, and if you've seen in my last video, um, somebody called this a party trick or bar trick or something with this new Polymaker Fiber on, uh, what is this, the uh, PPS Carbon Fiber, PPS CF. And somebody had also dropped a suggestion in the video comments that I make a crimb out of it. Well, I've learned today I'm, I'm not a musical instrument designer. So I started it, and it, it does make some noise, but you can't hear it. So I've got a resonator box that I'm printing for it, and I'm going to hold this up here next to the mic and see if I can get it to... Anyway, we'll call that a party trick. So. A lot of people have questioned the strength of the new Polymaker Fiber Online. So I went through and I printed, uh, looks like 10 different samples. I used CNC Kitchen's uh, test hook. I designed and built my own testing stand. And the problem I ran into is using CNC Kitchen standard on the test hook which is uh, a 0.165 layer height, um, three, three walls, three top, three bottom, um, at a 0.44, which is a 1.32 wall is what he calls for in a 20% infill. He doesn't specify what kind, so I use rectilinear. So printing the part at 100% scale in PPS carbon fiber, it will not break on this machine. Um, this machine, this, this meter goes up to basically 51 kilograms of force, um, where the motor finally stalled out on it was at 69 kilograms and it, it never even budged. It, it never moved. So I had to go back and size everything down to a 75% scale. That way I printed everything, CNC Kitchen Standard, 75% scale, and I printed two of each. And then on the PPS Carbon Fiber, I printed three different samples. Uh, the one sample I printed at regular temperature that I printed at, which is 340 with an 80 degree bed. I printed the next sample at 320 with an 80 degree bed. And then I printed a third sample, again at 340 with an 80 degree bed, and I annealed it. Polymaker hasn't released annealing settings yet, but everybody says you have to anneal PPS for layer adhesion. Um, I'll argue that, at least with this Polymaker stuff, because I'll go over that here in just a minute. So, anyway, I didn't, there's, there's no information on how long to anneal it or anything, so I took it to 80 degrees Celsius, held it there for an hour, took it to 130 degrees Celsius, held it there for three hours, dropped it back to 80 degrees Celsius for an hour, and then let it cool inside the oven naturally to ambient room temperature. But we'll start through and we'll go through first, and I'll put a video up here of each one of these tests as I'm breaking them. And we'll get to the fiber online at the end. So I tested, um, so Polymaker's adding three products to the fiber online. That would be the PETG RCF, which is recycled carbon fiber, the PETCF, and PPSCF. So they're adding that that's new to the line and then bringing over from their already existing filament line that they're going to put in the fiber on group is the PA6 CF, the PA6 GF, which is glass fiber, PA612 carbon fiber, PA12 carbon fiber, and PETG EST, which is their electrostatic discharge safe stuff. So, pricing wise. 
I'm going to go through this kind of quick, but I will drop a link in the video description down below, or actually I'll just put the pricing in the, in the video description down below. These new products on the Fiber Online are not for sale yet. Uh, their ex last I heard, I believe, was July 25th, so still three weeks away. Um, at the time of this filming, the PETG recycled carbon fiber is $19.99 for 500 grams. The PET carbon fiber is $24.99 for 500 grams, half a kilogram. The PPS carbon fiber is $69.99 for a half a kilogram, which seems expensive, but hang on. Uh, PA6 carbon fiber is $44.99 for a half kilo. PA6 glass fiber is $29.99 for a half kilo. PA612 carbon fiber is $39.99 for a half kilo. Here you go. PA12 carbon fiber, $79.99 for a half kilo. So it's even more expensive than the PPS. And finally, the PETG-EST, uh, $32.99. So I was able to test a lot of these. A couple of them I don't have. I don't have the PA6 glass fiber, and I don't have the PETG um, electrostatic stuff. And my PA12 is wet. So I, it's drying, but I didn't want to wait 24 hours for it to dry out and get this video filmed because I'm trying to get stuff done. So there we go. That's the pricing. Again, it'll be in the description down here, um, along with my affiliate link if you want to click on it. And, and I get a couple of cents when you order stuff. And also the fiber online, the new filaments, the three new filaments, these three right here, they will not be on the market yet. A few more weeks. They're on their way. They're on the boat. That's what I'm told. So, I started off with uh, Polylite PLA Pro, and I did it in silver because I <laughs> couldn't find a roll of black. So, print temperature, 220 degrees, bed temperature, 65 degrees, and I printed all these in two orientations. I printed one standing up vertically, one laying down horizontally. The first test is the vertical test, the second test is the horizontal test. The vertical test tests layer adhesion, the horizontal test um, sometimes tests the ability of my little machine. Um, but got some impressive breaks nonetheless. Anyway, PLA Pro Silver 220, 65, 11.44 kilograms on the vertical test. 29.13 kilograms on the horizontal print. Uh, Polymax PLA in black, again printed at 220 with a 65 bed. Vertical, not as good as the PLA Pro, 7.98 kilograms. Uh, a little better on the horizontal print, 32.51 kilograms. And then for fun, Polylite ASA in black. Printed it at 260, 100 degrees bed temp. Um, not quite the worst layer adhesion, but really close. 5.83 kilograms on it, 28.78 on the horizontal print. Now, I didn't print multiples and test this over and over again to see if this was consistent or not. I will get to that over the next few months. This is just the first run through. Uh, the new PETG carbon fiber printed at 255 with a bed temperature of 70. The vertical, which would be layer adhesion, 10.06 kilograms. The horizontal, which laying down flat, so not layer adhesion, just overall print strength, 21.24 kilograms. So less than everything tested so far. And that filament's dry, it's good to go. The PET carbon fiber, it was wet as well. I had it in here to do that first video a couple weeks ago. I set it aside, forgot about it, went to go print this, went hunting for the roll in the in the box. It wasn't in there. It was in here absorbing our lovely 89-90% humidity we've had the last few weeks. Anyway, the PET carbon fiber in black printed at 290, 100 degrees bed temperature, the worst layer adhesion, 3.03, to be expected. The filament was wet. Uh, horizontal, 
breaking point was 27.68, which was not the lowest, um, but it was the second lowest. Again, wet filament. Once I get it dried out, I'll repeat these tests. I'll put an updated link in the video description down below or put an updated spreadsheet link to a Google Docs spreadsheet where I'll keep track of all this. Um, the next one is the PA6 carbon fiber, which is one currently already out, Polymaker. Um, printed at 300 degrees, bed temperature of 50. The horizontal, which would be this brake test here, that was 10.39 kilograms. And the vertical test was 36.92 kilograms. PA-12 carbon fiber, another roll that was wet. We're not going to talk about why. Forgot to put it in its box and disc it after I took it out of the dry box from doing the dry box review several weeks back. PA-12 carbon fiber wet, printed at 290, 50 degrees bed temp. Uh, vertical breaking point on it was 14.17 kilograms. The horizontal print was 31.51 kilograms, and I did put that in the dry box, and as soon as I started circulating air, had a 46% relative humidity, so it was wet. Uh, the PPS carbon fiber. The first round. Printed the way I normally printed it for this here, and this attempt at making musical instruments here, which isn't very musical. Um, printed at 340 degrees, 80 degrees bed temp. The layer adhesion on the vertical print, 11.23 kilograms, so quite a bit less than the wet PA-12. Now, here's where the numbers go up. In the vertical, or horizontal print, 44.81 kilograms. That was printed at 340. Recommended temperature is 320 to 350. So the next sample I printed at minimum temperature, recommended right here on the label, 320 degrees. Here's something that gets me. Everybody says, if you don't anneal it and you don't print it hot enough, you won't have no layer adhesion. Guess what? 17.09 kilograms of force it took to break it on the layer lines on this little bitty model, 17 kilograms. 41.97 on the vertical or horizontal print. So right in the middle of the road. Now, the annealed pieces. Again, I don't, there's no data out on this, so I'm, I was guessing. Um, printed at 340 degrees, 80 degrees bed plate, Vertical breaking point was 14.57 kilograms, so not as good as the unannealed printed at the lowest temperature. But it was the best on the horizontal print with the annealed at 47.19 kilograms. And when I put the spreadsheet together and I upload it to the Google Docs and you link to it, I'll, I'll give kilograms and pounds. Um, so, that's it. Um, like I say, I, I designed and built this machine myself. Um, just uh, I bought the meter. Everything else is just parts I had left over from death racers and dragsters and printers. And actually this silver uh, uh, 2020 extrusion was from the uh, package that the Rat Rig uh, V-Core 4 and Rat Rig Mill arrived at my warehouse in from Portugal back before Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival. There was, they built a frame around all this out of this 2020, so I've got lots of it. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoy this. I'll continue to do more testing. Links to Polymaker in the description down below. Um, links to the Google Doc with all of the data that I've collected so far, and I will continue to test this stuff till I run out of filament or run out of money for filament, more likely. Um, that'll be down there as well. And, you know, for fun, here is a, as I said, I can't break the one printed full size. 
So you can see the 75% model compared to the full size model. These I can break. This one I cannot break. It overloads the machine, installs it out. And again, that's at 69 kilograms. So I went ahead and printed one vertical to check the layer adhesion on it. Let's go ahead and break it right here on camera right now. If I can get hooked in there. And we're going to turn that like that, turn that like that. i got to turn this around and zero out the meter. It's in kilograms. Now, I'm not putting on PPE, but I'm going to caution you if you try to do tests like this with this PPS carbon fiber. You need to have protective eyewear on, and it really doesn't hurt to have some sleeves on. I got a pretty bad gouge in my arm here last night breaking these when one shot off the stand and as it skipped across my arm, it cut me wide open like a razor blade. So, here we go. We'll break it. We'll see if it'll break actually. So, you know, OSHA safety. Here we go. There you go, it broke. 31.31 kilograms, and as you can see, when that breaks, it's gone. It shoots off the machine, it just disappears. And here's a PETG carbon fiber. Since I have it laying here and it's not broke yet, let's just go ahead and zero out the machine. One more break, and we'll call it over with. That's it. I'm out of printed stuff to break. I know it won't break this. I've tried it twice now. It doesn't even yield. If you enjoy these videos, hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. It helps my channel. If you want to see when the next one drops, hit that little bell icon. I appreciate each and every one of you that take the time to watch these videos all the way through. Especially appreciate your comments. I try to answer as many of them as I can. The last video kind of blew up and uh, I haven't been able to quite keep up with the comments. But I try. So... And as always, I was also told in, in my video comments that I don't know how to do the peace sign, but I'm still going to use my peace sign. I appreciate all of you. Thanks for stopping in. Peace out.